Tomorrow is going to be a huge day for Dogecoin and every other single crypto. Additionally, I have some incredibly bullish news that you must hear. So stay tuned for the entire video because I have some amazing information that I'm dying to share with you. What's up everyone, my name is Miles. Every single day I make videos about Dogecoin, giving you the latest and greatest news, additionally doing some very accurate technical analysis. I can help you to make a lot of money in cryptocurrency. So if you're interested in making money in cryptocurrency and you love Dogecoin, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss my time sensitive videos. And if you guys wanna get trade alerts when to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, join through the Patreon and the link in the description below, where I also offer consultation. You can talk to me on the phone. I also do lessons to teach people how to do technical analysis like myself. And we also have a Discord of over 4,000 active members. I highly recommend checking it out. It is a chat group community where we talk about cryptocurrencies and some other things. I'm also giving away 200 Doge to one lucky winner this Saturday. All you have to do, subscribe to the channel, like the video, put anything in the comments below, and follow my Instagram and Twitter. And if you're here for Dogecoin, go ahead and hit that like button. If you love Dogecoin, go ahead and smash that like button. And also let me know in the comments below. We know that Friday is going to be a huge day with the option contracts, the futures contracts expiring tomorrow. Generally, every single month we have seen cryptos pump on the last Friday of each month. Do you think cryptos are going to pump or are they going to go down tomorrow based on all this crazy news that has been happening lately? In my opinion, I think we're going to be going up. Okay, so I have some really awesome news that I want to share with you guys. We're going to be doing some technical analysis. Let's go ahead and dive in. So as I've been telling you guys lately, we have a lot of institutions, companies that are supporting Dogecoin, supporting and jumping into cryptocurrencies. Like yesterday, I talked about Apple, how they're going to start accepting cryptocurrency payments. And look, we have a Canadian firm, Hello Pal. Uh, they buy Dogecoin and Litecoin mining startup for $3.5 million. So people are wanting to start getting into mining and especially Dogecoin. Now, why would a company want to invest $3.5 million as a start to start mining Dogecoin, not Bitcoin, not Ethereum? Because Dogecoin is a very profitable cryptocurrency. It is one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies of this year. And we have seen Dogecoin from less than a penny hit to 74 cents. That is absolutely crazy. But the reason why I'm showing you this is that there's going to be continuing massive adoption for cryptocurrencies and Dogecoin. We are seeing retailers all around the US starting to accept Dogecoin for payments. And also there's this incredible information about PayPal. You know how PayPal, you can actually buy and sell cryptocurrencies. Dogecoin is not yet listed on PayPal, but yesterday they came out and said that PayPal will not, will, they basically have a wallet. So you can actually withdraw your cryptocurrencies from PayPal and send it to a third party exchange. Now, why is this good? Well, PayPal is one of the largest, you know, transaction companies in the world where people are able to send money, receive money. They are huge. And PayPal started doing this last year, accepting Bitcoin, Ethereum, allowing people to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. And that is a huge step. It is showing you the massive adoption, the continual massive adoption of financial institutions into cryptocurrencies. And every single week, every single month, we keep seeing these big players keep getting involved more and more and more. And what we are seeing is look, PayPal now has a wallet. Robinhood, they're about to have wallets for the, the people that use Robinhood so that the Dogecoin that you have on there, that you can actually send it off to a third party application or exchange. And getting into this even more, if more companies and more people are starting to do this, and this is just the beginning, what do you think how many people will be in by the end of the year or in a couple of years time? If this is happening every single day and more companies, more institutions are starting to get involved more and more and more and more, what do you think will happen in two or three years? Cryptocurrencies will be worth so much more because more people will be using them. More people have to buy them. More people have to receive them. It brings more money into the market. It brings more people into the market. And we will see cryptos uh, three to five years from now, potentially hundreds more than what they are worth now. A lot of experts are saying Bitcoin is going to be worth millions of dollars, not just 1 million, but millions of dollars, especially 
as you know potentially the u.s currency might collapse or other currencies might collapse especially maybe with hyperinflation around the corner and as people and more governments begin to print more money and more money and more money people are going to want to put their money into something that appreciates not something that depreciates and then again just giving you the reminder look we have robin hood they plan to launch a crypto wallet as fast as possible and that was the end of march it is now a couple of months later so this is going to be just around the corner Dogecoin is going to be listed on Coinbase. This is going to bring Dogecoin up massively. When Robinhood announced the wallets, Dogecoin will be up also massively. There's so many catalysts around the corner and getting in at these prices, Dogecoin 33 cents, 34 cents is a steal. And these other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Cardano. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is just all for entertainment purposes in my own opinion. Do your own research and diligence. And if you guys want a really good cryptocurrency platform to buy Dogecoin with and other cryptocurrencies and stocks like AMC and GameStop, use my Weeble link in the description below. They will give you two free stocks worth up to $2,200 potentially and all you have to do is you put a hundred dollars in the account they give you the free stocks you could sell those stocks buy cryptocurrencies like dogecoin with uh definitely recommend the platform they just updated it it's really cool but all right the moment you have all been waiting for let's go ahead and do some technical analysis and let me talk a little bit more about these options and futures contracts expiring so i've been telling you guys for weeks for weeks that the futures and options contracts expire this friday the last friday of every month and you know, to be specific, there are futures contracts, there are option contracts that do expire all throughout the week, but the one that has the most open interest is at the end, the last Friday of each month. And what we have seen, I've showed you on a chart a couple of videos ago, you guys should definitely check out my videos, but I told you guys that the last week of each month is very bullish for cryptos. The last several months, every single time, at the end of each month, we see cryptos pump a lot. Now, I think that is certainly possible because there is a thing called a max pain price where people are betting, um, you know, cryptos, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum to go up. Yeah, people are betting it to go down. And based on where Ethereum and Bitcoin is priced right now, they all both of those parties are going to lose. They're going to lose. They need Bitcoin to be near $50,000. They need Cardano to be up there as well. And if they don't get those prices up, these are the whales that are causing all the prices to drop. And, you know, the reason why cryptocurrencies are down is because of the whales and market manipulation. This is pure market manipulation. So if they don't get those prices near that, then they lose out. And I don't think that they want to lose out. So I think there's going to be a lot of green in the market tomorrow. I really believe that. And I think that's going to happen. However, anything's possible. The market could go down again tomorrow. And maybe we can have another fall in the crypto market where we get another really big bounce. And if you have a lot of cash on the side, or if you have some cash on the side, definitely recommend buying some of those dips. But I don't think that that is in the cards. It's certainly possible, but I think tomorrow is going to be a strong and green day. So let's go ahead and do some technical analysis. Let's see where we are headed. And what we do see is this is the bottom here. We have another bottom here. And this is our current area of existence where we are traveling. So we're in a clear uptrend after this recovery here. But getting into Dogecoin more thoroughly, it looks like we are forming another bullish pennant or bullish flag. If you don't know what that is, definitely recommend checking out some of my previous videos or going to Google, type in what a bullish pennant looks like and this is what it is. So basically I draw a trend line from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top whichever way you want to put it. And we see the level of resistance on top of the price. We see the price here. And I'm gonna draw another line basically so that it can kind of touch some of this resistance. It, it shows the direction of where the price is moving. But we do see a level of support that is stabilizing. We're not bouncing past this level of support, which is very interesting to see. Look, the price does not really dip below this. Look, we have three touches here and every single time we get a bounce up, look, a bounce up here. And uh, potentially we should be getting a bounce up here as well. And also in this area, even though we broke past it, this is the flagpole, we did go all the way up here, but we're trending in this line. And look, the, the up and down motion is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And generally what that does, it, it basically boxes the price movement in. And whenever the box is priced, it's all this momentum, all of this money, whenever it is boxed in a certain area, 
you know, just understanding the law of physics and gravity, you will understand that something has got to give, something is gonna break. And what I think is going to happen is most likely we will get a push to the upside, come up and test this level of resistance, and then potentially have a breakout. But understanding, uh, you know, formations like this, the bullish pennant, there, you have to understand that there's two possible scenarios. One is either we break out to the upside, which has a higher chance, or two, we break out to the downside and, and, and find a bottom here, and then start to bounce up again, which we, we would be continuing our uptrend. However, what is most likely, and I would not put all of my money on it, it's just you know, doing technical analysis, it helps you to get an idea, an indication it is not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed when it comes to investing, but this gives us an indication that most likely we will probably get a breakout somewhere in this area. And especially if we can break past this resistance, we'll probably get a breakout to the length of the flagpole, which would potentially put us to approximately 46 cents which would potentially put us to near 46 cents. So in my opinion, I think this weekend, uh, Friday will be bullish. And if it does end up being bullish, like I called out, we will probably have about three days or so, maybe more of bullish movement. And at that time, you could, if you, you could be looking to take some profits, but since we're at the bottom of the market, Cryptos have a lot more room to recover and they can bounce up very fast, especially when people become more greedy and they start to see cryptos go up again, a lot of FOMO, that'll cause a chain reaction in the market, a lot more money to get back in the market, which will skyrocket prices, which will cause things to go to the moon. So if you guys liked today's video, please hit the like button, uh, put anything in the comments below, blow up the comment section, share this video with some of your friends and family, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video.